uh, whew, January uh, 22nd. 22nd. Oh, that's, I'm a 22nd birthday guy, so Here we are. That. Happy birthday, Caitlin Clark. Her birthday today, too? Yeah. Happy birthday, Caitlin Clark. She's on the rundown today because she got assaulted That's right. uh, by Ohio State, those scumbags. And I, I don't even know. I can't. The first time in the office, I don't even see Big Ev. What's he doing? I don't know. What is Big Ev possibly doing on a Monday that he's not here? Um, anyways, brought to you by High Noon, the Prez Pack, my face on it. I don't know the rollout. I'm, start, I'm getting people still be like, finally found it. It has tangerine, which for my money, top three. Uh, flavor. Obviously, I picked the flavors, so I would have a top three. Uh, it's passion fruit, pineapple, tangerine, and pear in that one. Um, the 12 packs only here for a limited time. Go get it while you can. Uh, real vodka, real juice. Just a little pack with my face on it. You can scan the QR code and then, like, I pop up in small person size. Visit highnoonspares.com to find the El Prez pack near you. Um, all right, NFL. This weekend, what do we got? We, we, we really, uh, my brain is such mush. One great game. Green Bay uh, Bucks was good, right? Green Bay Bucks. No, Green Bay. Uh, Green Bay Niners. I'm sorry, Green, Green Bay, Bay Niners. Yeah, Green Bay Niners was good. Bills, um, Chiefs last night was was great. The other two were so so. Um, my main takeaway: uh, Green Bay should have beaten San Francisco. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And I was drinking the Jordan Love Kool-Aid pretty hard, basically needling the Chicago guys a little bit, but he sucked in the second half. He's the reason they lost. Yeah, and, and they caught Purdy. He wasn't playing that well, and then he thought... I, I think Purdy's Purdy. Do you think he's good or just Purdy? I think he's Purdy. I, like, I, I, I... Own category? Yeah, he's, a, he, he's Purdy. He, <laughs> he's there. <laughs> he, do, he, it's crazy to ever being like an MVP conversation there's yeah. probably a decent amount of quarterbacks with the weapons he has around him that can play very good with san francisco he's gonna miss throws he's gonna make some jordan love they're making this guy he he had an awful interception off the guy's hand where he threw it like five yards behind the guy and he reached back yeah. deflection he had a brutal miss of a wide open guy the series after and then the interception across his body he really young kid, but Green Bay. Those are those are the losses that, as a fan, like I saw Hubs. I thought he it was the most idiotic blog, and we've probably had some dumb blog. Sure. But Hubs wrote one like, and I'm looking right at him. He's like, oh, I'm a. It it was heartbreaking, but we overachieve, so it's like I'm okay. No, you I, were get, the, I get that. You were the better team. You had that team. That team. Could go super. You right, don't know think, what they can do. I can maybe see what he's saying when going into that game. You're like, I can't believe that we're here. And then when you get there and you're that close to winning, you're the better team. They were the better team in that game. They were the they were sure. the better team. And, and then you, I think you go. You're going to Detroit. You can certainly beat them. You beat them a couple of weeks ago. To be like, I'm okay with it. They overachieved. Nobody saw it coming. Yeah. But you only get so many chances in this lifetime to be like, my team can win the Super Bowl. That Packer team. They could have won this. They, they were hot at the exact time to get hot. Hubs, that, to be like, oh, we overachieved and it sucks, but we're young and outlook. No, you have to seize it because look at look at the Bengals. So yeah. The Bengals are hot and then Burrow busts his knee. I think you may have missed. I was devastated. That was devastating. Absolutely. I was more like Trent where going in, it's like, all right, let's see. We're a nine and a half point dog. Let's see what the fuck happens. Yeah, but you were better. Through three quarters, they're winning by seven. It's like, holy shit. This is like, that was absolutely devastating. If Love didn't puke on himself, you win that game. Yeah, the offensive line getting hurt because Bosa just took a, he took over. Yeah, but, after but, that but, but, but no, he, the was, two he, throws that or, I'm referring to, the one that was like an easy three yard pass, he threw it way behind the guy and then he missed the wide open guy. For three quarters, he was great. The fourth quarter, he sucked. No doubt. Offensive line. Fell apart once Zach Tom got out. And Nick but Bosa San Francisco, everyone is basically handing them a trip to the Super Bowl. Green Bay outplayed them. That was devastating. And then yesterday, Buffalo. Listen, I think everybody has a little bit of a soft spot for like of course. Bills Mafia. They really got every break yesterday. Oh the, my the, God. the fumble at the, the goal the line, yeah. the recovered fumble that looked like it was going to be a pick six, and then they got it back. Uh, you know, you, it almost is like if you're not going to get. Kansas City then, when he get again, and I, and I just mentioned his name, everyone keeps forgetting that Burrow got hurt. 
the Bengals yeah. are arguably the best team in the AFC with a healthy Burrow, so they are out of it. You have Lamar. They, I don't think the Bill. I don't, Josh Allen's great. They may never win. I just don't. I don't think it's ever going to happen. Yeah, get rid of the coach. Coach gets out. Coach. Yeah. Josh sure. Allen's good. He's very. I keep. I've been seeing tweets all day about he's how he's good. like Philip Rivers. He was great. He's yesterday. not. He should have been in like Philip Rivers territory. I've been seeing people compare him to Philip Rivers all day. Are you crazy balls? What do you mean? You think Philip Rivers is better than Josh Allen? No, no, no. I'm saying I've been seeing tweets all day of people saying like, "Oh, Josh Allen's on that Philip Rivers level where he never." Oh won. no, he no. Which I think is insane. No, no. Josh he's Allen's better. way better than yeah. Philip. But Rivers. Not, I don't even think it was really more of a uh, comparison on a, if they're. Who's better? It's more like, oh, he'll just be the guy that never wins. I think Josh Allen also, can friggin' win. But, but if you look at Josh Allen, when he lost that game, the first, the crazy one in Kansas City when they kept scoring, he I think he was like the first quarterback to play a perfect game. He literally couldn't have done more. This game, you got Diggs. That guy loves to talk. Yep. Choo, choo, choo. He dropped. Uh, right there, if, yeah. if you're a, like, want to say you're the best receiver in football, and you drop a 50-yard bomb with the game on the line, Tough. you got to eat your words. And, by the way, I don't know what he did. If you saw a run back, he did this. Yeah. What well, does I that mean? I see that. I don't know. As soon as he got up, I think it's, you missed it by a second, or he was no, – I catch almost it. had you it. just dropped it. Just catch it. Yeah, you dropped it. Um, it's also tough because, like, the Lions are sort of filling that, like, everybody loves this mm-hmm. team. Like, everybody loves the Bills. I agree with you. But the Lions are actually, like, they're in the NFC Championship, and they might win the Super Bowl. I did text my friends yesterday. Imagine – a Lions Bills Super Bowl. Yeah, the fans. That would be. Oh, would and that would be. They should have just shook hands and not played if it happened. Now, where do you fall? Like a lot of the conversation today is Patrick Mahomes. Obviously, yep. six straight AFC championships. Like hasn't every year he's played, he's been to an AFC championship. Like where do you play? Like if he wins the Super Bowl, now we really got to start talking about like this guy is. Listen, I, I he's the best. Ever. He's him, oh, wow. as they say. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm saying you got to at least be like. No, I have no six straight AFC championships I, I, and yeah, potentially three. What, what the Patriots? What, like ten or something? It was some crazy. I'm I, just saying. I, 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 let me answer it for you, Trent. Okay. The Patriots are so bad. I don't really have anger versus other teams right now, and I can see the things clearly. And I was actually talking to Gaz about it. I'm not. I can accept greatness, and he's great. So I think he's. If they go win the Super Bowl, you can start having conversations, and I won't be insulted by it. He's that good. Okay, great. Now, he's not there. Seven versus three is still quite different. I'm with you. But I have no problem. Patrick Mahomes, what he does, I have no problem putting him in a conversation. None. Okay. That's and I don't I even hate Kansas City. I don't, I, honestly, the Kansas City thing's an uh, interesting thing with the Taylor Swift, Kelsey. Like, I tweeted at Philly fans. You are obviously brutal. I think Kelsey's antics would have potentially bothered me if I was an Eagles fan. Really? Yes. Yeah. You just lost a week ago. But he's done. Yeah. You lost. This team just beat you in the Super Bowl last year. I'm not saying it's right. I think it would bother me. I think if he hadn't retired, I would agree with you. Oh, I don't think though. He, I don't think he actually retired, by the way. He did. He did today, actually. Oh, today he did. I, th- I think he did. I saw it today. I just think, uh, I don't know. Though that's his brother. I don't know. I, like I remember Gronk dance dance after I think they lost the Super Bowl. In the Giants, I, yeah. He yeah, did. I was not happy. In, in, I get it. And Gronk and Kelsey's are probably like somehow distantly related. I in, could like, see some that. sort of universe. But as a fan, it's like you just lost. Your team's kind of shambles. And you're going crazy to the team that beat you in the Super Bowl. I'm not saying it, but all, Philly fans universally, like, he can do no wrong. We fucking love him. We love him. We love him. Sure. So, interesting. Yeah, I mean, he was having a hell of a time. That was the, that was the best clips from the game, I thought. Oh, going by crazy. Yeah, the Taylor Swift like, heart Taylor, thing. Yeah, well, that was beautiful. That's true love. There was also there. She also brought out the people last night. I think Gerard Carmichael was in the suite. Oh wow. I think I saw. Uh, Comedian? He's a comedian. I think I saw, um, what's that chick's name? There was another actress in there with her. Ashley, uh, my girl, Ashley. No. Oh, Cara, Cara Delevingne. Cara Delevingne was there. I saw yeah. a picture of her there, yeah. Yeah, they're, bring, they're bringing this whole thing together. This, it, 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 which, like the Bills fans were being good. They're playing along. It's cool with a big barely man in the crowd. That would infuriate. If I was playing the Chiefs. This would enrage me. I don't know how I'd actually handle it because I'm a Taylor guy. But if if you're playing me, I want you dead. Like I'm in the heat of the battle. And if you're celebrating, going the fans, that that would bother me. Um, so I don't know. But it, it certainly has been a wild wild thing. So those are the two games that were good. Yeah. The Lions were kind of in control of the Bucks most of the game. 
Um, great story, obviously, in Detroit. And then the Ravens just dismantled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's another guy. You look at this conference, C.J. Stroud, I mean, they got killed, but he's very good. The AFC is so loaded. Yeah, it is. And if, if Mahomes keeps coming out of that conference, you got to tip your cap. I mean, and it was a, like a bad Chiefs year. They looked like they shit. For that, was the be, that was the best they looked. Their defense actually looked like shit for most of the game yesterday, which was surprising. But the Bills didn't look good all year either, to be honest. No. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, he's just so good. Like, I saw a stat earlier. I think it was he, that was his 16th playoff game yesterday. He's 13-3 and three lifetime with, like, 4,400 4, yards, 37. Well, that's what I'm teams. saying. Uh, if They're starting to get, like, the touchdowns, the Gronk, 16, uh, Kelsey. They beat it. It's oh, crazy. Beat it. Like, I have, uh, he's just I have so fucking good. No problem. With the comparison, he's earned it. I will say, again, looking back, I mean, Josh Allen, the play he made on it was third and goal from the 13, and he throws a fucking BB in the corner oh, for the so touchdown. I mean, everything went the Bills' way up till them not winning. We're like, I think this is, this is their game. Yeah. The fumble, which is idiotic to reach for. First of all, idiotic call. But then you go look back, the fake punt. You don't know if that was called the line, but how do you not, if you're going to go, how do you not let Josh Allen go? And so there's only 10 guys and the wide right. That was a sad ending. That was tough. That, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trent, I'm glad you're on. Yeah. Because our girl, Caitlin Clark, yeah. assaulted by these scumbags in Ohio State. Unlike anything I've ever really seen before. And I wrote a blog on it. Yeah. Because look at that. Absolutely took our head off. And and pure class, as always, by Caitlin Clark being like, I don't blame them run running the court, but I got taken out. Um, hand up, I do feel responsible. If, if Fat Boy was here, we could have had him on this podcast you think, to talk about you it. You think because you're a huge Caitlin Clark fan. Huge. You think that Ohio State fans are targeting her because of what what's been going on with you in the Michigan in team. a roundabout way, yes. Okay. Here's what I think's happened. The people of Columbus are so desperate sure. for any sort of victory or taste of success because they've been dominated by Michigan for so long now that they've turned into deranged lunatics and they storm the court in this situation with no regard for human life because they haven't tasted any success. Yep. So in a weird way, yeah, I feel responsible for that attack. On Caitlin Clark. I can see it. I still have to go to her game. I was supposed to go to a game in Jersey here at Rutgers. Did you end up going to that? I did go to that game. How was that? It was great. They won by like 30. Oh, she had a triple double. She dominated. Yeah. She's as good as she is on TV. She is incredible in person. So we like talk, Caitlin and I. We're, really? Oh, yeah. We're buddies. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I have her sweatshirts. I have everything. So I have to see her play. I don't know what's going on with Perfect My Take. They. <laughs> were like saying it was her any if you basically if you're a successful woman they try to tear you down yeah like they were oh she she flopped then i saw perfect dan like posting a picture of andy reed like a clear photoshop making out with taylor swift it's like i've never seen a podcast so threatened by females in my life there are a couple people who are saying that caitlin clark flopped there and i'm like what you're talking, yeah what do you that's first of all you're watching it in slow motion and she doesn't look like she flops like i don't understand why I think, I, somebody wrote it on our blog, it's it's crazy that she flopped. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like yeah. Nardini leaves, and suddenly <laughs> everyone's showing their true colors. As done, if, you, if you go back and watch the video, the girl who runs into her doesn't even check on her. her. Phone is in the air. Hits her, doesn't even really go back to check on her. And Kaylin Clark is in a heap, in a pile on the ground. And then, like the security guard, an Ohio State player, went to look at her, and the security guard like threw. Up. It's just the whole thing. This guy, Ohio State is smart. They're spending quadrillions of dollars on the portal, yeah, they, they're, they're spiraling. They're spiraling. But like you said, Kalen comes out ahead. She was like, it's fine that they stormed the court. I would just prefer if you didn't have your fans run into me at full speed. Yeah, and maybe, like, not have a phone up. It's like, would you drive like that? No, you'll get in an accident. That's what happens. She's a treasure. She's a national treasure. She really is. What do you think, Pauls? No, I'm just, as an unbiased third party, I am watching the video right now. Yeah. It just seems like both of them wrong place and wrong time. That lady, she knocked into. What, what do you wrong mean, place, no, wrong, wrong place? place. She's, she's all, I'm Clark saying, basketball basketball. I'm saying neither of them are paying attention to each other, though. They're just hitting she's each other. Off the court. That's, like a, that's like a football here's collision. Here's point I'm like, with that's you. like if you run into a shark in the ocean, like, wrong place. It's like, that's where I live. That's right. People being like, why, you know, they ran into each other. It's like, one's a basketball I think, ne I think neither, the neither of them saw each now, other. Trent? Neither What's of them saw mean? each other. <laughs> what are you going to say? I can't believe you've gone to the five. I, I think it's time. No, no. 
Hey, what's the problem? We, with can, the we can all be in this together. We don't have to. You don't have to mark this as the end of the era of 550. I, I Did you want them right now. Yeah. My guy. Are these the new type? I of mean, I, I've had them longer than everybody in this office, but now everyone. Tommy, I think I heard had a pair. Trent, I, not our most fashionable. We're, we're the 550 boys. <laughs> so is New Balance in nowadays? Yeah. You know, well, like, I used to get like. I well. Used to, I don't know. The date on the tombstone might be right. I don't, I don't. I don't know, boss. It's a great Back in my day, I used to get made fun of wearing New Balance. Yeah, because the old person's shoes. It was, uh, they were yeah, the, no, only, but they, the five they were the only shoes that, had, that had wide. They had the only shoes that had wide sides. Yeah, no, they're very comfortable. Up. They had wide they're sizes. Very comfortable. When, when fucking yeah. Trent and Nate start wearing them, and maybe. Come on, man. Speaking of Nate. Yeah. And I, I came. I don't know what we're doing with Parcel Radio here in New York. Are we trying to get it not to work? Is that like, let's see if we can put out the worst product and we'll see what happens. You're talking about Nate Fridays? Yeah, I'm talking about Nate Fridays. Yeah. He is a proven track record of not being able to do content. It doesn't matter. He yeah. can't do it. So why do you think you wake up at 35 years old and suddenly you can do content? He can't do it. He's proven it time and time and time and time. Fine, throw him out there on Friday. Throw them so out there. Let's see back. how it goes. Two things. What what has changed? What did you get struck by lightning on a superhero movie? And it's like, boom, I I now have a personality for radio. Like, what possibly could be going on? Look, Dave, we're losing twelve million dollars a year. All hands on deck. We need people working on Fridays. If people want to come in on Fridays, it's not just like me doing a monologue to the YouTube and Rumble audience. We have other people in here. We just want to get together, do an hour of radio on Friday. Stuff happens on Thursday that should be talked about on Friday. It's a travesty that we're not working on Friday already. A plus, but why you? Because I took the initiative. Why not? You know what? Why not me? Because you Anybody can be a star, Dave. Pour no, it into no, the no, thing. No, 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 Take the can, no, pour no, it into no, the star. No, no, no. Yeah, you know true. what I'm talking about. No, no you get the, the most paint, out you know of the You're painting. an editor. You know the painting. You're an editor. You know the painting. You're an editor. Anyone can be a star. You come into Barstool Sports, anybody can do anything. You cannot Besides be Nate. Besides Nate, you can't. Anybody, you know what you do? You shovel my glitter out of the star. That's We've what you do. You go month. in and you, you go in late at night. You tiptoe in no. and you shovel my glitter out. No. And then you go in the company meetings. Anybody can be a star at no. Barstool. Alex Cooper. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, you and Alex Cooper. Not <laughs> Nate though. Yeah, Nate's it's always Davey, Alex. not Nate. That, is, that sums it up. It's Nate Dogg and Alex Cooper. Two two equal uh, rungs on. Yeah. Well, guess what? Other people have to become stars since you couldn't afford her. And guess who's next in line? It's Barstool Nate. Friday radio, you'll be watching. All right. That was good. <laughs> that was yeah. that's great. That was, yeah. There you go. Anyone can be a star. Yeah, but you, Fuck out of here. Anybody can be a star. Can't. Not Nate, though. Not Nate, though. But I hope You I'm don't wrong. want me to succeed. I've tried to hunt. You times. need me not to succeed to make yourself feel better. All right. Whatever. <laughs> oh, here. Come on. Yeah, that was good. So, oh, that, there we go. The problem is. What's the problem? He, you need Dave. That's when you shine. Vice versa. <laughs> Fine. It's when it's Dave and the dog. It's good. Yeah, but he doesn't, but he like doesn't do the that. Dog. He right. He, he turns into Walter Cronkite <laughs> with like hard hitting. He's like, I'm gonna do these hard hitting news, and people mm -hmm. pay attention because I have this electric personality. They, it's the spider monkey. Yes. Which you don't want. But to but, but you bring it out in him, and I think because you're the boss, he gets that smirk going. Yeah, he gets yeah, it going. Yeah. But then but when it's Play him like he, a he, he wouldn't do this with Trent. He wouldn't do it with me because I don't know. It's just a different di dynamic. But when it's Dave and the dog, it is. But he won't do the show. No, that's the thing. He oh, won't do Dave and no the dog. No kidding, dude. He complains we're losing money. We're losing money. Dave and the dog is the money maker. <laughs> I, I don't think it is. Man. Maybe <laughs> well, we you quit your show already. You tried again. But I know if you host a show with me, you're going to be born. Yeah, no, what will happen is I'll bring up stuff and you won't talk about it. You'll tiptoe around it. What's Davey Eggshells. <laughs> you won't talk about it. All right, fine. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll give it a shot. We can't, we can't talk about that. We can't talk about that. Oh, oh, oh. All right. You never know. Oh, you're overstaying your welcome. Maybe we'll do it. Oh, uh oh. Oh, Davey's not the star. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Davey shows back. Oh, God. <laughs> not wearing 550s, by the way. Thank God. <laughs> hey, maybe the Dave and the dog. I mean, that was an electric rant. <laughs> there you go. First, there's uh, Friday Radio right there. He's something. I can't tell. Half the time, I really hate his guts. Yeah. And then half the time, I like him. Right now, I like him. But he, he, I know how quickly he'll wear me out, and it'll be like instant. Be like, we've been talking for two hours, Nate. Um, all right. 
Did you guys see this? Uh, Bronny? Bronny hit his head on the side? Yeah, what? Bizarre. Just no awareness of anything. First of all, LeBron being like, Bronny can play in the NBA when he can't even play right now. U I, USC, they're getting smoked every night. This was crazy, though. He, like, jumped leaving a building and cracked yeah, it his looked head. Yeah, like, it looked like he was, like, trying to tap like they do that thing, but they, he just hit his head Doesn't full on. Doesn't his own jumping style. Right. Yes. Is he good? I, <laughs> uh, I, from what I've seen, he's good. Oh. Would, would, he, would you be like, who is this kid? If you didn't know who is Bronny, no. He'd be no. like, he's a very good basketball player. Right, like, I don't even know, like, how many minutes does he get with USC? Well, he, he came back after he had that heart issue. I don't know if he's yeah. totally over that. Yeah. No, that, yeah, he, for, yeah, I don't know why, why he would do that. Completely uh, misjudged it. Last one I didn't have on, but since we have you, Trent, for play, this is an amateur kid. Nick Dunlap. Now he, he, so he won a tournament. Yeah. yeah first yeah. time in like forever. Phil Mickelson did it the last time in 1991. Now he doesn't get paid, right? Nothing. Absolute. How much would he have won? 1.5. Oof. The way they do I'd it. I'd almost rather come in second. I know. The way they do it, too, is like the way the payouts work when he's the amateur that wins, they act like he didn't even exist. Oh. So second place gets all the money, third right place. Won't receive oh, prize man. money, 1.5 million. Move 68 to 68, no, whatever. Receives a master's invite, that's cool. So he's, I mean. Could he have like, with one hole to go, be like, I'm turning pro? No, I, you have to do it before. Damn. You have to do it before. But this guy, he's gonna, that's the thing too, is he's gonna turn pro now. Like he, Now, did you know who he was? Oh yeah, because he so, just won the USAM. He's legit. He plays a sophomore at Alabama, like he's legit. Um, but he just committed. That's him? Yeah, that's him right he looks there. Looks like he's 45 there. 20 years old. Just oh, committed. He's 20 years old. He's Does he look old? Yeah. Sophomore at Alabama, huge stones down the stretch. He can't join the tour until 2026, I'd say? No, he can join. That's, the, that's what the top tree said, exempt on PGA Tour. Oh, he's exempt time. through, so he's exempt. He can so play he, till then, and then he's got to re-up. I don't know what the word exempt means. Exempt means he can there, play through. Yeah, okay. Right. Um, <laughs> that's that's what we're like, really learning here. This week, like, he's going to be a star. It's just he doesn't get that $1.5 million. All right. Does Does he, not, uh, it never happens. Does he go back to school? Does he? No, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I saw his team going crazy. It was cool. Yeah, the yeah. Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's. He, um, cool. Oh, Alabama. Speaking of that, we have Roll Tide Willie shirts. So Roll Tide Willie, if you don't know who he is, he's obviously like, well, if you don't know, it wouldn't be obvious. But he's a Alabama fan. We met him years ago. I'm a big fan of his. He's classic, like uh, Alabama. Like I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. Roll Tide, roll, roll Tide, roll. Don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. When I won my bet. Michigan, Alabama, I said I'd take care of his house. He's been trying to finish this house forever. The most Alabama thing ever. I'm like, all right, Willie, how much do you need? He's like, can't take it. We, I don't take charity. He refused to take me. I'm like, tell me the check. I will cut you the check. Wouldn't do it. He's like, I will do a collab t-shirt with you and take the proceeds. So we're selling those. Um, so <laughs> brick by brick because the house is roll tied Willie. So that's on sale now. I was going to ask you about Spirit. How's that going? To the moon. Yeah. That's actually, so I gave out Spirit. I, I haven't done DDTG in quite a bit. I wrote an article on Spirit, bought like Spirit. The second I pressed publish on it, it went down 25%. Now it's rocketed, it's up like 100%. Um, and once again, which always seems to happen with the Wall Street people, they get so butt hurt when somebody not directly in Wall Street's getting involved and they're just, uh, they're crying their soup. So yeah, flew Spirit today from uh, Miami to here as yeah. a sign of support yeah. because I lead from the front. That is what I do. So um, that's it. That's the rundown. That's all I got.